In this video, I want to show you how to add a vertical line to indicate the break-even point on a particular line graph. In this case, it's net income. We're going to show the break-even point when it crosses from negative to positive. So to start looking at our data table here, we have our week number and we have our net income as it's been calculated. And what we want to do is we want to add another line. That's why I have another data series here for break even. But the first thing we need to do is to figure out when did the line actually go from negative to positive. Here it's in week six. I've got an additional column here called crossed. And what it's doing is it's calculating whether that particular time period is the one where it crossed from negative to positive. And so if we look at the formula, we have a formula which uses two dashes at the start. So what the two dashes does is it evaluates the formula and it puts a one in if it's true and a zero if it's false. So it's a, in, an easy way to have a quick formula. And I'm using my AND function here. So the if both of the conditions are true, then it will evaluate and show a one. If either of the conditions are false, then it shows a zero. So the two conditions are the value for this particular time period is above zero and the previous value is below zero. So it only evaluates true here in period six where 10 is the current value, minus 45 is the previous value. So it gives a one, but it doesn't give a one in any other period. And it's important we have this formula set up so that only one of the time periods has that one in it. Now obviously if you're gonna adapt this idea to check for other conditions, just set up the formula however it makes sense for your situation, but you only need a one in that one particular time period. So then what we do is we then need to add this extra line and the time period, the time that we have, whether it's a time period, a, a week or a, a specific date, we use this formula here. So let me break the formula down first. So let's go inside first and look at match. What match does is it says uh, where is a specific value, that's the one, within a set of cells, E2 to E13, and I want to know where that is, and the zero is the matching type. So what index does, it says, okay, within a particular array from A2 to E13, where is this particular row, and which, uh, which column do we want the value from? So column one, which is the weak column, at row wherever it matches one within this set of cells. So what that's doing is it's resulting in six. As the data changes, these numbers update. This means that this particular style of setting up a graph will be flexible and adapt to whenever the data changes. The values for the lower and upper points on the line I've set it to an 80% of the minimum value of the net income as the lower point and a maximum, 80% of the maximum at the top end. Now again, you can change that however you want, whether you want it to be the full from the bottom to the top, it's up to you. When we go to graph our line, create our graph, we do not include this crossed column. It is simply what some people refer to as a helper column to help us identify those values that we do want to graph. So I'll select our data here. I'll go to my insert, my regular line graph. And unfortunately what happens here is you'll notice, and this happens sometimes, that's why I wanted to show you, is that uh, Excel does not recognize that these are weeks. It doesn't see this as a date, it just sees it as numbers. So we have to go into the select data dialog box and tell Excel where are the horizontal axis labels. So I'm going to say they're in this set of cells here. Week is not a, uh, a data series. So I want to remove that and click OK. Now, what's happened here is that, Excel, again, Excel has not recognized that these are dates. It thinks it's just simply uh, text or numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that horizontal axis, press Control-1 to get into the formatting, and specifically tell Excel this is a date axis. Now Excel makes a better guess at it if you actually have dates in there, but I wanted to show you that you could use weeks as well. 
So I've formatted the axis. The last thing I have to do is I have to change a setting so that this orange line is continuous. Right now it breaks because Excel has a default of saying if there's no data for that data series, show a blank space. And for our net income data series in these last two, four, row 14 and 15, there's no data there. So I'm going to go to my Select Data dialog box, go to my Hidden and Empty Cells settings, and change this to Show Empty Cells as Connect Data Points with a Line. Click OK, click OK again, and now it joins it. So what I did in the graph I showed you at the start is did some formatting. I placed these labels down in the low position. I uh, changed it so there weren't so many numbers here along the vertical axis and formatted the lines. But that's how you can add a break-even line or a line at whatever specific criteria you want to a line graph and it will update when the data changes. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.